Okay, amen. So welcome uh, to everyone that's watching us via streaming, and welcome to everyone who made it out to the house of God today. And uh, I'm Apostle Owen Hazel, and we are speaking here from Global Life Church. And uh, so this morning we're going to talk about uh, prayer in all uh, spaces of your life. Praying in all the spaces of your life. A time of concentration and prayer. You know, I heard a, a politician, um, he was saying that, well, we are praying and all these things are happening in America. But my thing is that what if we were not praying, what will be happening in America? And so therefore, we cannot dumb down prayer. Amen. Come on, can we say that? We cannot what? Dumb down, down prayer. prayer. And we cannot forget to pray. Man ought always to pray and not to faint and not to give up. And uh, our island, St. Thomas, needs prayer. The Virgin Islands needs prayer. The archipelago, the Caribbean, we are in need of prayer. And America is in need of prayer. Somebody say hallelujah. Yeah. So I want to minister to you today to say that we must come off of pause in the area of prayer and have confidence again in your God. Because if we have confidence in our God, we will continue to pray. And now, Father, we just thank you, Father, as we approach your word. We thank you that your word has been anointed. This sermon that I'm going to preach, you've heard it over a trillion times, but you're going to put your anointing upon it, put your words in my mouth. You're even going to speak into our hearts, our mind, soul, and spirit concerning this word that we are going to release this morning. Everybody shout. Amen. 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 So we're talking about prayer in all the places of your life, the private and public places of your life. And God wants us to release prayer in our homes, our schools, our colleges, our universities, our boardrooms, uh, in our palaces, our situation rooms, our churches, and Skype, and Zoom, Facebook, Twitter, radio, and TV. We got to start praying again. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. I really want somebody to do a research and really look at America at the time when we had worship and prayer release in our nation, when um, Ran Pannoni and all those were leading worship, and then we had uh, Larry Lee on uh, TBN, and he was praying in the morning. You would wake up and they would have uh, at least two to three hours in prayer in the morning via TV. I would like somebody to research and see if we had any mass killings during that time. And so I'm encouraging us as individuals that we got to come back to prayer. Somebody said, we got to do what? Come back, come back to a place of prayer. And so therefore, a nation that is defecting away from God, they will say, is God really answering our prayers? And my question is, what if the church down the road and up the road were not praying? What would happen to uh, America? And the question is, what should the righteous man, righteous woman, righteous boy, righteous girl do during this time? And I believe that the righteous must arise and take the pause off of prayer. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. We have seen an uptick and an outbreak in evil in our nation. I mean, evil abounding yeah, and yeah. all. Just uh, and yesterday they caught a U-Haul truck. They were going in to see to shoot up uh, with 20 guys loaded with guns, ready to go and kill uh, the people who are in the gay parade. Now the people who are in the gay parade, they are God's people too. Somebody exactly. said, mm -hmm. Amen. And so therefore we got, we got to pray for every man. Those with the guns yes. going to kill them <laughs> because they think that they're living some kind of wrong lifestyle. And also those who are in that lifestyle. Yeah. And so that's why Jesus Christ came to save those who are what? Lost. I can't hear the house up in here. And so therefore, we must pray for those people who want to do a crusade a long time ago. They were a religious uh, sect who did a crusade. Right. And in our 21st century, uh, but when you hear crusade, you say, you sure it's a crusade? Because what the crusaders did before, is that they say, well, our way is right, and the other people where you are wrong, and we are going to come and conquer you, and turn you away from your religious belief to ours. 
So they would go in and they would kill and the mayhem of folk with swords, with whatever they had, and compel them to put their trust in whatever they were preaching. And so therefore people, um, you know a nation now, people say, we hear crusade, people have to start beating, pop, pop, crusade! You gotta call it something else. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. So evil is abounding in our land. We have outbreak of evil. I mean, every state. Just before I, I came to church, I was looking at uh, somebody did, and I have it, um, links in your in your, in the sermon that I sent out, and they have it uh, month by month and days, and they put little dots on every uh, month of the year and every um, time that someone got shot. They show you on the third, six got shot, ten got shot, and this is what happened in America now. And this is happening now because of filthy lucre and because of greed. Somebody said, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. The guns that they are creating, these semi-automatic guns, they're not guns for the street. They are guns when we go to places like uh, um, in, in the desert fighting up and, and fighting in Vietnam, fighting over in, in the Saudi Arabia and all those places and desert storm. Those are guns that went there and not on our street. Because of greed and people want their stocks to go up and money in their pocket, they start cranking them out. Somebody said, mm -hmm. And then they have laws to protect those who are making these guns and putting them on the road. Listen, guns that were made to go in the time of war are now on our streets. There are millions of them on our streets. That even here in St. Thomas on our streets. Too. Somebody said, mm -hmm. oh my God. So we here gotta pray because our state is just about 32 square miles. Up in those big countries, there are millions of miles to go around. You could run and hide. Here we can't run too fast. Somebody said, mm -hmm. So now we are at a place uh, in history and epoch, E-P-O-C-H. Either we are going to pray uh, we are going to fail as a nation or uh, pray or uh, fail as an island. It's either destruction if we do not pray or uh, we are going to have revival if we pray. Somebody said we prefer revival in the, the Caribbean. We prefer revival in St. Thomas. We prefer um, revival in the British Virgin Islands and we prefer revival in America. Can you put your hands together and just clap and say we prefer revival? Yeah. A little history, because when I heard the politicians say, well, we, we, we are praying, but we can't see any significance. And my question to that politician is, what if we were not praying as a nation in little pockets here and there? But I went and I looked into an Isle of uh, Lewis. That's off of uh, an island off of, uh, of England. I, I don't know if you've ever been there. Um, but Isaac, have you ever been to Isle of Lewis? No. Where you got to go? <laughs> and then we dig them wells and smell that church. But it's there still. And the Isle of Lewis. And so therefore, you know, Isaac is an Englishman. So that's why I asked him. So revival on the Isles of Lewis in 1949 to 1952 is in your notes. So if you want to go to your email and you see, I even show you where the Isles of Lewis is located. I put a map there. Who preacher will do that? And do all that research. <laughs> but I did. <laughs> And so therefore, I didn't know we didn't, we're going to have the light. <laughs> so you have it in your notes. All right. And that's where the Isle of Lewis is. And all the places that we're going to talk about today, they are right there. And it says that in 1949, on the Isle of Lewis, there was so much defection. I mean, the young people, they were not uh, studying church. The young people were even using the halls of the church to have their dance party and their drinking parties. Think about that on the Isles of Lewis. The young people with um, defection was so strong that they refused to come to the house of God. But then, there were, there were two sisters, one by the name of Peggy, and we have a Peggy here, watch out. Peggy and Christine Smith. I went really digging hard because I don't always talk about these two ladies. But now I put names to these two ladies. Peggy and Christine Smith. Come, somebody say Peggy. Peggy. And Chris, Christine Smith. And I think Sister Smith will be jumping around the throne now. I was Sister Smith. <clears throat> That's done. But Peggy and Christian Smith won 84 years and won 82 years. Now, we live in a time, when we talk about these years, is that nobody want to be called, I'm a senior, I'm a grandfather, I'm a grandmother. Uh, they, they, they call them glam, glam. 
Glamour. 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 And then in the, the, the place uh, Bava, B A R V A S, Bavas, in that village, it says uh, that they began to pray because uh, they heard in Isaiah 44 and verse 3 that God was stirring up this verse in their heart. It says, I will pour water on the thirsty land and streams on the dry ground. One more time, I will what? I will pour what? Water. On the thirsty land and streams on the dry ground. Isaiah 44 3. God likes to work in dry places. Somebody say hallelujah. God likes to work in a wilderness places and spaces. And if you think America, the Virgin Islands, the Caribbean, we are in a wilderness place and space, God is ready to work on us. Somebody say hallelujah. Because he says, I will pour water. When you begin to pray, he's going to do the outpouring. I will pour what? Water. water on the dry and land. And he said, I'm going to create streams on the dry ground. God he likes to work when things are dry, when everybody and the politicians, the apostles, the bishop, the church folks put up their hands and say, what's happening to this world? But thank God that you are here. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. You are here on the scene. And what can the righteous man or woman do? Should we throw up our hands in surrender? But we got work to do. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. And what those two sisters began to do. And it's that Christina and, and Sister Smith began to pray from 10 p.m. to 3 a.m in their little small house turned into a little cottage meeting and they prayed consistently two to three times uh, per week 10 p.m to 3 a.m i don't know what time god is calling you to pray somebody say hi oh, yeah. then uh, the sister penny she was the blind one who could not see uh, Deacon Godfrey. then she got a vision somebody said mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, I remember um, helen keller who could not hear or see she said, woe to that person who could see and could hear and can't hear what God is saying. Somebody said, oh <laughs> But Sister Peggy, she was blind. Somebody said, she was blind. She was blind. And she saw a vision of people coming from all over, filling the church. And she told this, she said, while we are praying, I, I, I see. She prayed until she got a prophetic vision, Amen. a blind woman. Somebody said, mm -hmm. <laughs> And so all of us who can see, wave at me, all of us who could see. Ah, come on, don't let Bob Marley come and say, I can see clearly. You see, sorry, yes, uh -huh. I can see clearly now. Because do you know something? That if the people in, in God's house can see, God will cause the people in the bar shop to prophesy the songs for the church. Mm. I hear nobody say nothing. <laughs> you understand that because we're so tied up and twisted up in the religion, mm. we got to hear the rest of the man singing, I can see clearly now. Somebody said, mm -hmm. I wish the church can see clearly now. Um, after COVID and this pandemic and we start moving away, all the clutter that's before us. Somebody say, hallelujah. hallelujah. I still maintain that this is the best time for the church, but the enemy will come and make it the worst time for you. Let me tell you, God works his best when things are tight, when things are not right in your life, when things look like famine. When there's a wilderness, when there's a drought, God likes to come and work the night shift and the day shift in your situation. Put your hands together and say, God, work our work your day and night shift in our situation. So that's all I So this sister Peggy saw, she prayed. A blind sister Peggy prayed. Somebody said, I can see. I can and see. And I'm going to pray. I ain't going to pray. Here. This morning, I'm not preaching to no blind person. Spiritually blind or naturally blind? Everybody up in here can see. I hear one person. Thank you, dear <laughs> My God, you close by. <laughs> Come on, so I can see. I can, I can see. see. 
I can hear. I can hear. And so I'm going to pray. And so I'm going to pray. I tell you, we're not going to, the question is, what can the righteous do? We are not going to side with the politicians, put our hands up and say, well, the church is up the road and down the road, they're praying, but nothing is happening. I believe that something is happening. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. And if we refuse to act as believers and church, God will send his angels in uh, to work, uh, to redeem the time, so that uh, his cause must be done in the earth. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. They will start releasing. If the church folks become lazy and uh, nonchalant, I mean, God will say, listen, I, I had my program for June was this. There was supposed to be an outpouring at Global Life Church, but people had their, 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 their head in the sand. He said, I was sending some angels to stir up the water, hallelujah, like Bethsaida, for something to happen up in the church house. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. <clears throat> and so therefore, the heaven, even the heavens, are the Lord and the earth he has given everybody said to me I can't hear somebody said to me Amen. to the children of men men and women boys and girls we are to govern when he put us here in the earth in Genesis when he says we are to, to dominate uh, somebody, somebody say hallelujah hallelujah Come on, somebody say, I'm to dominate. Amen. And what happened to us as Christians? We allow other things to rule us and, and to dominate us. Somebody say, aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And so we go around like a chicken, say, quack, 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 quack. When we are so we be flying with the angels. Come on, somebody say, I refuse. I refuse. So we say, quack, quack, quack. quack right. When I could be supernatural, somebody say, hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Somebody say, I refuse. I refuse. To let to, what is happening on the earth. It, it's a stress will come upon the, the earth. Stuff will happen in the earth that will come to wear out the saints. Daniel says that and trade and be you. But listen, if by faith we're gonna stand and come back to the enemy. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. God he has given us something in our mouth. He has given us because spiritual work and spiritual warfare. Come on, somebody say spiritual warfare. The moment we are assigned on the salvation dotted line, we are at war with the enemy. Somebody said, mm -hmm. uh -huh. But let me tell you something you've got more power than him. Somebody said, mm -hmm. uh -huh. The Bible tells us that when you see the devil and you look across there, when you're on the side of God and you look at the devil, bowing his head in shame because he failed and he failed again. Somebody said, mm -hmm. uh -huh. Because did you know that God took away from him? His strength and his power, and we got the victory. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. The Bible says, when we see the devil, we're going to say, Is this the man? Let's practice. Is this the man? Is this the man? That's caused most chaos in the world. Is this the man that caused trouble up in the Ukraine? Is this the man that caused trouble in my family? Is this the man? I wish I had known that the man. Somebody said, mm -hmm. Jesus. 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 Is this the man? So I'm not going to wait until I reach to say, is this the man? Somebody say, ha, ha, ha. The, the Bible tells me that this the man, the Satan, is under my what? Now listen, hear what God said. Is this the man? He didn't say, address it as El Diablo, Satan, the devil. He said, is this the Is this the what? The man. The man. Get no revelation. Is this the what? The man. The man. I we said, well, this man has all supernatural power. Never. We've got more power than yeah. the devil yeah. because we are supernatural. Come on, somebody say, I'm supernatural. I am supernatural. Why am I supernatural? Because I'm hooked up with the Holy Spirit. Every day in the supernatural, in, in, in every day with the, with the Holy Spirit, something supernatural happens with the Holy Spirit. Somebody say, uh-huh. Uh -huh. The Holy Spirit Amen. comes to you from the supernatural premise oh, and the supernatural oh. realm. Somebody say, mm-hmm. Uh -huh. The supernatural to the Holy Spirit is, is that difficult, is easy. Somebody say, mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And the Holy Spirit comes to live inside of you. Touch yourself and the Holy Spirit is what? Inside. And you grumble at once. Somebody say, Holy Spirit. Oh, he was inside of me. Got me and be perusing and thinking about Christians. Anything happens to them. I mean, they run to some guy with some rabbit's foot or some kind of stupid bead and all that kind of stuff. Red heart and no way. Somebody say no way. No way. I can't hear. Somebody say no way. No way. 
Somebody say, I'm supernatural. I am supernatural. Say, so, so, so God, open my eyes. Elijah said, open his eyes. Come on, somebody say, open my eyes. Open so my I can eyes. really see the supernatural. Somebody say, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And somebody declare that I am supernatural. I am supernatural. And the Holy Spirit lives inside of me at salvation. The Holy Spirit is inside of me through the baptism in the Holy Spirit. And so therefore I know more, a lot about the supernatural. And so therefore we enter into the supernatural when we are baptized with the Holy Spirit. Somebody say hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. And so therefore that's where God wants us to be. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so therefore I showed you a picture of Sister Peggy and then also Christine Smith with Duncan Campbell. She saw a vision of the church. People just coming from all over from the church. They began to pray. And then she saw an unknown preacher coming to the church, preaching. And this woman who was blind, she saw all that in her heavenly vision. What are we lifting up our eyes to see? Somebody say hallelujah. 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 You see, we have dumbed down God so much that we have stopped seeing heavenly vision. Somebody say, mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I can't hear. Somebody say, uh-huh. uh-huh. We have done no God so much. We have stopped getting heavenly dreams and visions and open visions. And these things are for us. Somebody say, they are for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Say, I stop dumbing down God. Somebody say, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. We, 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 as Christians, we have, a, you see, we have a dumbed down religion. Somebody say, mm-hmm. uh-huh. But I want to exchange it for a supernatural God and a supernatural religion. It means when you talk about a supernatural, something that's above the natural. Yeah. Somebody say, uh-huh. Amen. You know, you know sometimes I heard a, a, a preacher, I couldn't really correct him, and he said, we must start, start using the word supernatural. But maybe he, he, he did not know what supernatural is all about. And he did not know he is supernatural. Maybe one of these days, I'll get to tell him. Somebody say, mm-hmm. uh-huh. And so therefore, because everybody think, you just think that's what we think. We think that's only the guy doing the root work is supernatural. But you are supernatural too. Point to yourself and say, I am supernatural. supernatural. You gotta believe it. So that's I gotta believe it. And so therefore, if you're supernatural, I'm not gonna be on the side of people who are dumbing down God's word, dumbing down faith, dumbing down prayer. I am going to pray because God instructs us uh, that men and women, boys and girls, we are to pray and not to, to faint. Somebody say hallelujah. People faint because what? They do not pray. And then the answer came about 11 p.m. It's in your notes. This is history talking. Like that this woman uh, knocked on uh, um, Brother Campbell's door and said, listen, wake up, wake up. Something is happening at church because of the two sisters began to pray. And she saw a blind lady saw seeing Christians. Somebody said, mm. uh-huh. she woke up the preacher in answer to prayer. And she said, listen, there are people coming from all over the aisles of Lewis, coming into the house of God. I tell you, listen, and then some of them came, they said, with the tables on their head for seat. Some of them came with their own chair to sit down because they just, somehow, miraculously, they just knew that if they came without a chair, uh, somebody said, mm. uh-huh. I, I, I said, prayer can turn the thing around. Uh-huh. Somebody said, mm. uh-huh. in your eye view, uh, think about what people take their chairs to in the Caribbean. Somebody said, mm. uh-huh. when now somebody took a chair to a wood revival, somebody said, mm. uh-huh. I hear nobody up in here. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, but we'll take our kind of chair, hard chair, soft chair. The last time we had one big parade, it was raining, and, and then I looked down the road, what happened? People even had their tent set up in advance. Amen. I call it no name. Somebody said, Amen. Some Christians were here too. I hear nobody. Nobody, nobody said nothing. Uh-huh. <laughs> somebody said, uh huh. Uh-huh. But we are the ones. Somebody said, We are the ones. We are the ones. Are you still silent? I call the name at you. I said, We are the ones. To create the movement in the land for people, uh, let me tell you something, to bring their chairs. Amen. When we, I, I, I saw a Shamba revival, and even the goat, a goat, that's what the, that the late Reverend R.W. Shamba, even a goat had on a sign going home, come to the, 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 the Somebody put a, 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 a flyer on the tight on the goat's heart and send it home. 
Somebody said, mm. so put your hand right there, man. Put your hand. Put your hand somebody said, Ah, somebody said, Hallelujah. My God. Somebody said, My God. My God. And so that's what we are supposed to be doing. Somebody said, That is what we are supposed to be doing. Somebody said, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What shot must the, the righteous do? Are we going to throw our hands up and we give up? Somebody say, No. No. I want to hear resounding no. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. So at this, uh, at this revival in the Isles of Lewis, uh, a blind woman prayed, and the next woman who had arthritis prayed. Somebody said, mm. uh -huh. I never meet me today. I have a whole artist showing up. Somebody said, mm. uh -huh. but they pray. Somebody said they pray. Yeah. And somebody said, we must pray. We must pray. I can't hear somebody say, we, we must pray. We must pray. And this revival broke forth. I tell you, showing that God answers to prayer. Because when God said men and women and boys and girls are to pray, and not to, to faint. Somebody showed us that we are to pray and not to faint. Somebody said, hallelujah. hallelujah. And so this was the answer to prayer in 1949 and 1952. I, I had the opportunity to hear him. This same man, Campbell, used to be on television too. But we never knew who this man was. And so Duncan Campbell, a preacher, a prince of preacher. And he, he was not afraid to preach. He would say, if you don't pay me, I'm going to still preach the truth. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. He had an anointing upon him. And so, I mean, the, the healing of a nation came through prayer. And this is possible. Somebody said, it's possible. And so in that, we have the link also is there. I sent you the link so you could go and research some more of that revival. But come to our time now. Our uh, statistics. Uh, you see, on that isle, just like the island of St. Thomas, uh, they had their statistic uh, of defection of people causing mayhem in the land. But two persons uh, pray. Who will be the two persons uh, amen, listening amen. to me in the house, out the house? Uh, that will pray. Somebody say, I gotta pray. Right. I gotta say something. Somebody say, Hallelujah. You see, we have prayer as a cliche. When we call prayer, nobody's showing up. But this is a time when we call prayer, show up to listen or show up to participate. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. And so therefore, the statistics in our nation, they are grim. You see, right now, um, there, there have been over 250 mass shootings so far in 2022. And so this, the, the, the toll says that the mass shooting have killed 256 people and injured 1,010 persons within the time of May, the month of May in 2022. I got that from the Washington Post. And so therefore, we, we, the church can't be like uh, Congress and uh, the Senate. Somebody, somebody said the church? The church. church. Cannot uh, be like Congress and uh, the Senate. We can't be bought. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody got to say something and somebody got to pray something. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. And so as a church, we got to be like a Jeremiah lamp here. When things were going bad in 1958, he says when everybody was affected and leaving town, he said we're going to pray and he start a prayer revolution in New York. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. And I believe God can do it again. Somebody say God, do it again. Somebody say God. Do it again. And so Jeremiah, he gives us uh, in the Bible a report of our, our newspaper headline right now. There are people who are plotting your economic demise. I tell I heard one uh, person say, let's kill them when they're going to the supermarket. That's, that's what they have on YouTube. Let's kill them. Even though they have, you have not troubled anybody. They say take them off one by one just like doves as they go to shop. This is crazy talk. Come on somebody say this is crazy talk. And so they are talking their crazy talk and then we got to call up God and begin to talk to God. Somebody say hallelujah. Yeah. hallelujah. There are people that you have not troubled. Lord, I mean, they are plotting your economic demise. There are people moving in your, I mean, where you live. There are some places that, that you live in peace. And people just uh, move into their territory just to cause mayhem. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
my mom had somebody just like that in Jayad. They, they came in and they shot her dog. And then the next day, somebody shot them in their leg. And then they said, my God, don't mess with that woman over there. Somebody said, mm -hmm. And she still lived in Jayad. And I grew up in Jayad. And I grew up with my head on right. I don't know how to preach her. I hear it. Put your hands together for that one. Die. Somebody said, Hallelujah. Yeah. I grew up in Jaya passing through. When those guys started blowing up their tampi, <sighs> my God, it's like a, they call it their glory smoke. <laughs> Somebody said, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hear nobody. But I survived. Somebody said, uh -huh. uh -huh. There are people who are plotting your economic demise. It's even in the Virgin Islands. Somebody said, mm -hmm. uh -huh. We believe in the Virgin Islands. We'll even have. Um, um, all kind of tax that they put up on you. You do business with certain people, they put their own tax upon you so they can't move. So, but in the Virgin Islands, somebody said, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Somebody said, It's crazy. It's crazy. <clears throat> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There are people putting your economic demise, there are people who are putting your physical demise, and you have to trouble them. That, that, that's the thing that troubles my spirit. And there are people who are plotting your spiritual demise. And you're saying that we must keep quiet. What can the righteous do during this particular time and season in our island, in the Caribbean, and in our nation, and in Ukraine, and in Russia? What can the righteous do? Somebody said we can do something. We can pray. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Ah, and so I'm encouraging uh, people just to pray. We are planning a prayer in every state. Uh, from, uh, right from uh, this version, uh, we're collaborating with cell phones and television. And we're collaborating with radio station. And we are networking to pray from every state in America. We're not going to stay like chickens. We're going to make things happen. Somebody said, make things happen. Make things happen. I hear you are some sleepy. Somebody said, make things happen. Make things happen. So I'm going to sit in the version and I say, oh, okay, the cause is we have people living there. So your sons and daughters live there. I got grandchildren living there. I have children living there. And so we're going to do something to stop this madness. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Right from this place. Put your hands together so we can do it. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Crazy stuff happened when good people go to sleep and watch it pass by. I said, there's another one. There's another one. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Somebody said, we're going to come on top of it as good people, praying people, and stop the madness. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. I tell you, somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Stop the madness. Somebody said, stop the madness. Stop the madness. And so Jeremiah gives us a report in Jeremiah chapter 9. And Jeremiah, he was a weeping prophet. Anytime you encountered Jeremiah, he was weeping. Somebody said hallelujah. hallelujah. But don't mess with Jeremiah. He, be, he might be weeping, but he had the word of God in his mouth so much that some kings could not contain him living next door to their palace. Every time they would say, what does God say? God said, hey, God will devour you. He going to kill you. He going to feed you to the world. Put that man in the prison quickly. And the kind of prison they put him in, the kind of Godfrey, was like down in a cistern. I don't know how we, how we survived. Somebody said, mm -hmm. of water. I don't know how we survived. Somebody said, mm -hmm. And we hear in the Virgin Islands, we know about cisterns. So he was down there. And every time the king remembered, he said, hey, what about uh, Jeremiah? He's still alive. Here, give him a piece of dry bread. Ha! My God. Somebody said, mm -hmm. who wants to be a prophet? Nobody saying that. Huh? Ah, somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. So this is Jeremiah giving us, uh, he was way back, uh, hallelujah, and he gave us a report uh, like we would read in our newspaper. They call it Global Times. In Jeremiah chapter 9, 9 says, Oh, that my head were waters, and my eyes a fountain of tears. That's it, he's getting off the ball. I say, I'm a weeping prophet, oh God. I wish my entire head was water and my eyes were fountain. It means that he cried so much until he can't find the water to cry. And he could he was crying so much over what's happening and what he saw. Oh, that my head were waters and my eyes a fountain of tears that I might reap. Oh, come on, somebody say day and night. Somebody say day and night. For the slain of the daughter of my people. Listen for the slain of, of our people, of America, a slain of our sons and daughters 
in the Virgin Islands, slain of our sons and daughters in Trinidad and Jamaica. Somebody say hallelujah. In some of those uh, um, islands, uh, I mean, they're kidnapping folks. They're even kind of kidnapping pastor. They kidnap uh, one pastor because he went to the bank and put some money in, and he was a target. By the time he left the bank, uh, they kidnapped him because the teller told him that uh, tell the, the guys who were outside waiting, hey, he got the money in the bank. Somebody said, mm -hmm. and when they're putting him in, he heard uh, he was telling, I don't have the money. He was telling his kidnappers, I don't have any money. And then the person in the back said, yes, he has money. He has some, he just put in five dollars. He, he listened. And he said, God, let me go, let me go quickly. And he got out. And when he got out from the kidnappers, he told them what's happening. Is the people inside the bank who crooked and want to put people in jeopardy. Come on, put your hands together and say, God, help us. In the Caribbean. Somebody say hallelujah. The last time I checked God, he says you could make it by the sweat of your brow. But we have people in America, we have people in St. Thomas and the Caribbean, nobody want to sweat no more. Somebody come said, on, mm. but if you plant some tubers and a little lettuce and some cucumbers, you can sell it tomorrow. So I can't hear yes, a house yes. up in here. Somebody said, uh -huh. uh -huh. and you don't have to go and concoct anything and kill anybody for what they got. Somebody said, hallelujah. hallelujah. The Bible tells you how to make your money, sweat to make it. I hear nobody. Somebody say what? Sweat. Sweat to make it. Ah, somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. I'm up here sweating because I'm sweating to make it. <laughs> somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. He says, oh, that my head were waters and my eyes a fountain of tears that I might work week, day and night for the slain of the daughter of my people. Verse 2. Oh, that I had in the wilderness a, a, a lodging place of some way-fearing men, the men that who know the way, who really know the truth, and who take care of my people and pray to, that I might leave my people with them and go from them, for they be all adulterers, an assembly of treacherous men. Somebody said, mm -hmm. and that can, do, that can uh, paint a picture uh, from the pulpit to the door, that can paint a picture of our Congress, our Senate, and our legislators. Somebody said, mm -hmm. but somebody got to stand and somebody got to pray. I can't hear the house up in here. Everybody can drop the bucket and say, my God, to hell with the church, hell with Congress, hell with, sir. there got to be somebody saying, God, we're with God, all things are possible. Amen. Can we shout up in the houses so we God all things up? Awesome. Somebody say, hallelujah. We need some men and women of faith during this time. Somebody say hallelujah. It says, and they bend up their tongues like they are bought for lies. Listen, I mean, preachers are afraid to preach about the lies that are happening in Congress. The lies that are happening in our Senate. Somebody said, mm -hmm. But let me tell you something. I might just put myself in trouble. But if one president, who won? Can you give up their reign because they lost and in an election and you took over? And then another president comes in and then you, I mean, and you took over and another one came in and, and lost, okay? And then you don't want to give up the reign. Somebody said, mm -hmm. uh, And we are just spreading lies. Somebody said, uh-huh. Uh -huh. I, I, I don't understand the frame of mind and thinking of America right now. America is filled with liars. Somebody said, mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I hear me nobody. I know nobody from Congress sends me a check. I know nobody from the Senate sends me a check. So we can step from here and preach. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Can you put your hands together and not look too afraid? Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. And they bend their tongues like they are both for lies. Entire network lies. And the Christians and pastors better watch it and stop telling lies to their congregation. Somebody say hallelujah. Can I prophesy to America this morning from the Virgin Islands? Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. And the bend, let me tell you something. There are many revolutions that occur in America, occurred from Caribbean people. Somebody said, mm -hmm. I ain't hearing nobody. I ain't hearing you all. Y'all got silent. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And he says, and they uh, began, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they, uh, you do some research. And they began with their tongues like they are both for lies. The truth is before you. You watch the same thing that went down the road. You read it, you saw it, and you saw people coming to 
to twist it and turn it. Somebody said, mm. I heard one uh, newsman say, I, I, I'm sorry, I can't bend and twist no more. I, I give up. I resign from that. Somebody said, mm. uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody said, uh-huh. Uh -huh. And they bend their tongues like their bow for lies. But they are not uh, <coughs> valiant for the truth upon the earth. We are looking for valiant men and women who are bound for truth in the earth. Somebody say hallelujah. There were times in the Senate and Congress, you were hearing that when there was trouble in a nation, you were hearing they were called for a tongue-talking preacher. They were called for a Billy Graham. They were called for an Oral Roberts. They will call and say, listen, come pray for us. And they will go, the, 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 the people who believe in God will go in a room and they will pray with them. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. And they will hear the word of the Lord. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. And so we got to pray again that God give us in Congress and in our Senate and our legislators, men of God. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Who will once again call for the men and women of God to pray. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Can you put your hands together and say, God, let it happen. And so it is in the word of God. Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 3. And they bend their tongues like their bow of like the, like the bow for lies. But they are not valiant for the truth upon the earth. For they proceed from evil to evil. And they know not, uh, not me, say the Lord. It's like you tell one lie, and you're going to tell another lie to compound the lie, uh, to butter up the other lie, and you're going to tell lies all the days of your life. Somebody say hallelujah. Can I talk to American leaders? American leaders, stop lying, and you're going to come to God and start telling the truth. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. No matter what the lobbyists are doing, if they drop you, let them drop you. And if you're a man or a woman of God, God will send you, I mean, the right people to fund your campaign. If you're supposed to still be in Congress or the Senate, can you can you share away with me or something? In Jeremiah 9, 17, 22, it says, Thus said the Lord of hosts. Somebody say, God is talking to us. Come from way back to now. Thus said the Lord of hosts. Consider you and call for the morning women. Somebody say, Who will mourn? Do we have any morning women and the morning women, men who, what's happening in the land has touched them and they could cry? Oh you know something? We only mourn when it comes close to us. Come on. I can't hear the house up in here. Yeah, yeah. Only when your son or your daughter or somebody in your family, you come and say, you know, you're close to me. Well, let's cry now before the thing come close to us. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, consider and call for the morning of the women. Those who know how to take up a morning in the presence of God. Somebody say hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Those who know to mourn in the halls of justice. Somebody say hallelujah. Yeah. Those who would mourn and get the attention of God. Somebody say hallelujah. Yeah. And we got morning men and morning women. He says that they may come and send for the cunning women. Somebody say cunning women. That they may come. Somebody say hallelujah. Let the morning women and the cunning women, the cunning women, they are the women who've been there, done that. They've been to the trials and the tests. It happened to them a million times and they're still standing. Somebody say hallelujah. They put their hands around, around you and say, I'm still standing. Somebody say hallelujah. That's the cunning women. They know how to, how to strategize in spiritual warfare. Come on, somebody say, I got, got somebody say, Holy Spirit, teach me how to strategize in what? Spiritual warfare. One more time. Somebody say, Holy Spirit, teach me how to strategize in spiritual warfare. Hook me up with a cunning man. Hook me up with a cunning woman. You know, what happened to went through all kind of stuff in life and they're still standing strong to encourage somebody that's going through the same thing and, and the pitfall they've been through. I've been there, done that. Somebody say hallelujah. I've been prostituting myself. I've been in church, but I've been a prostitute, but I've been there, done that. So if I can get my act together to help you, I, I'm going to help you. It's okay, you could have nodged your head. <laughs> Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say coming. Coming. God's looking for some more morning women. Come on. Somebody say, mmm. Mm. I hear it nobody. Somebody say, mmm. Mm. Morning women. Cunning women. Who know what they're about. When they get the sword of Jehu in their hands, we're gonna lynch up the enemy. Somebody say, uh-huh. Uh -huh. And they're gonna say, listen, 
after this session written me, this stuff that's troubling you ain't gonna trouble you any longer. Somebody said, mm -hmm. a cunning woman is a woman of faith. Somebody said, uh-huh. A cunning woman is a woman uh, who knows in whom she believes. Somebody said, uh-huh. As I told you, really, she's she been there and she been down and out, but she got the trophy. Somebody said, hallelujah. She got the heavenly trophy and nothing the enemy can show on her. She can't fight back. Somebody said, hallelujah. We're looking for some of those women and men in the house of God today. Somebody say hallelujah. What can the righteous do? The, the righteous still can mourn and the righteous can still be cunning. Somebody say hallelujah. And still full, full of wisdom and knowledge to defeat the enemy. Somebody said that's me. <laughs> Woo! And it says in verse 18 that let them make haste. Come on somebody say we got to make haste. Uh, you, 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 this thing with the pandemic and COVID, the enemy wants to slow you down, but somebody says, I refuse to be slowed down. Come on, somebody says, I refuse to be slowed down. These are the best of times. We got to strategize. Somebody says, hallelujah. I didn't want to do it. This is time to strategize. And he says, and let them make haste. We got to run. Somebody says, we got to run and take up a wailing for us. That our eyes may run down with tears and our eyelids gush out with water. We will be crying and we will mourn and we will be cutting in intercession. When what happens is that we become so selfish that we cannot pray for another woman's son, or another woman's daughter. And so what we do, we go to do our nails. And we go to do our hair. And then what we do, we talk about them in them places. Somebody said, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I ain't got to tell me nothing. Somebody said, mm -hmm. Ah, somebody said, hallelujah. hallelujah. But we're going to change it. Somebody said, we're going to change it. Even the brother and sister, sister Sally, so come by you. I want to talk uh, church business. Uh, you begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Somebody said, mm -hmm. Start off small, start off low, but I crank up. That's why it's good to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Somebody said, Hallelujah. Put your hands together. Somebody said, Hallelujah. Somebody said, I'm supernatural. <laughs> when those things happen, uh, is that uh, you are giving up your supernatural power. I'm giving it to the enemy. Somebody say hallelujah. Come on. So come, somebody say, I will not give my supernatural power that God has given me. I will not give it to the enemy. Somebody say hallelujah. I know my stance. I stand as a supernatural man. And I stand as a supernatural woman. Can you put your hands together and say something? Somebody say hallelujah. So we're going to make haste and take up uh, this business. It means haste. With our sons and daughters who will pray for another woman's son, who will pray for another woman's daughter, who will pray for another woman's husband without taking her husband away from her. Somebody said, mm. after you told her already, he bad you know. He got ten women on the side. So I can really eleven. Ah, oh, young young. I hear with nobody. I said, I hear with nobody. And this is a case of I feel God. Somebody said, ah, yeah, yeah, you don't know who to trust. He said, we got to take up our way. He said, come on, come on. Somebody said, we got to cry out to God. We got to pray when he's not your husband. We got to pray when he's not your son. We got to pray when he's not your daughter. We got to pray when he's not your son or daughter. Get gone down the road. We got to wail and pray like that. Somebody said, hallelujah. That's what we do when we pray at mornings. When we hook up, we, uh, we pray for our land. Who will pray without something happening in your house? I can't hear you. Somebody said, mm. He says, for a voice of wailing is heard out of Zion. Somebody, Zion got to get her wail back. Come on, somebody say, Zion got to get her what? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy prayer. For a voice of wail is heard out of Zion. Zion becomes sophisticated now. Everybody come up with a pretty hat. With a feather in it. Somebody said, mm. Everybody come looking glamorous. Somebody preach on hall. Somebody said, mm. And you got to dress the part, look the part, but, but who is taking up a whale for the land? Somebody said, mm. For a voice of wailing is heard out of Zion. How are we spoiled? We are greatly confounded. We are confused. 
because we have forsaken the land, because our dwellings have cast us out. When I grew up, the church did not reject the land. On the every given tree, on a Sunday afternoon, we had a Sunday school. Somebody said, mm -hmm. and those are the days when we lived up in Jayad. And we could leave our house open, just push the door in and go. Because what? We did not reject the land. Somebody said, hallelujah. Who will use their porch to even accommodate one young man, one young woman, and teach them the fear of God? Somebody say hallelujah. Who will tell some young man with, with his breeches dropping down behind his behind that he went to jail and he hasn't reached yet? I said, pull it up, son. You can be on the back. Come on. Somebody grown into that. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody grown. I said, mm. Jesus. Somebody said, Jesus. Ah, yeah, yeah. Church folks, we have forsaken the land. We forget to pray for the land. And we want, my, my message is, God wants us to pray in every public space and every private space. Somebody say what? Every what? Public space and private space. You jump in your car to go to the supermarket, begin to pray. On purpose, so begin to pray. Uh, uh, when you start, somebody say hallelujah. Just might save your life. Hallelujah, the life of our loved ones. We, we a loved one. We have forsaken the land. Because our dwellings have cast us off. We got to go back and start teaching our sons and daughters the way of God. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Yet hear the word of the Lord, O ye women. And let your ear receive the word of the Lord. And teach your daughters wailing. Somebody say mm -hmm. And every one of our neighbors lamentation. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. All our children, they're not going to the dogs. Once we are up, we're going to pray. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. If we miss it with the children, teach the grandchildren waiting. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. It says, for death is come up into our windows and is entered into our palaces. No one becomes an untouchable. The kings, this stuff will touch the kings. Think about when the pandemic came. The kings, the governor, I mean, our president put his arm and show you he got a good shot. And everybody said, I hope it's a good shot. Somebody said, mm -hmm. When that comes in the land, it comes to everybody. Somebody said, mm. It says in verse 21, Jeremiah 9 21 says, For death is come up into our windows. We can see the blood gurgling coming up to our windows. Death is stacked up to our windows. We don't have to look too far to see death is right there by us. Somebody said, Hallelujah. For death has come up into our windows. What is it? I tell you, if we were really people of God and we were really busy, and we were to get the name of somebody's son or daughter, and say, I got it. And when you pray, you need to pray, you pray for that son, pray for that daughter. Somebody say, Hallelujah. I, I, I tell you, listen, if I were to tell you, I mean, the rubbish that what can happen in a church, I, I'm going to tell you one of the rubbish. I'm going to tell my story. I, I sent my daughter. Because I went to school, um, down by the school, and uh, when I went walking to school, I saw um, fans on in the school blowing hot air here and hot air there. And I was a teacher too. And uh, then they told me that that was the first time the teacher talked because they popped in the classroom. I, I, I hear when you, somebody said, mm. So when I left the school, I called the school maintenance and said, I want to donate from Global Life Church some air conditioners for the back. Then they told me, I hope I'm in trouble, but I tell you my story. Then they told me if they hook them up, the whole thing gonna blow. So in my mind, I am a little technical, why can't he call WAPA and pull another high tension line and plug in the stuff I'm giving them? I, I'm not hearing you, somebody's in. Mm -hmm. So he said, you can't do that. I said, okay, can I, I could do something. The next day I went, I said, I'm taking my daughter out of this school. Money or no money? Somebody said, mm. And then I took her to a pain school. So when we show up at the pain school, the person, the intake person, was somebody who recognized my daughter. I said, oh, okay, so sorry. I said, what? Mm. I said, mm. <laughs> I said mm. She said, you know That's me. Because she was her, her swimming instructor when she was, what kind of years? Three. Or some, some three, four. I said, what? They said, God, who killed? Somebody said, you know what happened? 
Nous venons dans la vie, à boîte. Mais il doit prendre le money. Qui est-ce que tu as donné le monde Nous venons de la dame perrette. Nous venons de la dame perrette. La dame est divine. Ça va se dire, c'est divine. Ça va se dire, ok, tu peux se dire. Je sais, je sais, je sais. So she can stay in this. Somebody said, mm. I said we wanted a payment plan. Because I said, money, I don't money. I, I, this is it. So we work on a payment plan. Even when she finished school, we still had a payment plan. Somebody said, somebody said, mm. So I told my wife, I said, Lord, we got a prayer now. This is the same way. Somebody said, mm. So you, you see, you don't know nobody's story. You want to know what's happening? Favor. Somebody said, Favor. Favor. But there's somebody, some church member. Came to me and said, How are you paying for my school? I said, But my wife work and I work. When I come up to South preach here, I work here. You didn't know that? Amen. I got a salary, so I could do whatever I get with my salary. Somebody said, mm. You see, you see, we, we, we could move so far from being supernatural into the physical. Somebody said, mm. you, you understand me? And, and, and people sit and they think. You know, they sit and think. But thank God they asked. Somebody said, mm. But they're not here with me today, as I couldn't tell that story. So I'm not going to the stories. Somebody said, mm. The guy in the phone, I, I, I could answer that people too. Somebody said, Hallelujah. Ah, somebody said, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But, but, but the enemy will do all kind of crazy stuff in your mind. Church people mind to, for them to do all kind of crazy stuff. Somebody said, mm. I, I could tell you more, but I don't tell you more. You can't stand. You want to stand one. And that's why. Because we go there, my wife starts like waving at me. So my mom is anointed. Somebody said, mm. Lean in the man and mm. You may say, mm-hmm, let me look at that. Want to wind up. It says, you see, but, but when we stay in our lane and do it, that, that, this is what we're about prayer. The preacher can't get any prayer because somebody is sitting now and covet the preacher. My God. Somebody said, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So what do you think will happen to his offspring? Somebody said, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You, you, you understand what's happening? Instead of us praying, we be digging holes. Instead of us praying for another brother, a sister, we digging holes. Somebody say, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody say, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Something gonna hit your head. I said, no, I'm going with that dumb stinking thinking. Somebody say, hallelujah. And straighten your life up and be supernatural. Come on, somebody say, I gotta be supernatural. And God said we're gonna be supernatural because he's coming back for a supernatural church without spot and without wrinkle. Put your hands together, somebody, hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together. Ah, hallelujah. hallelujah. It says in verse 21, for death is come up into our windows. Can you pray for somebody else who is successful and is entered into our palaces? It's cut off the children from without and the young men from the street. Can you pray for somebody else's son? Can you pray for somebody else's daughter? Can you become so selfish, so selfish and co-vicious? We cannot pray. That's why people don't like to pray. Because you see yourself when you begin to pray. Somebody said, mm. yeah. you can pray for that person. So you just can't pray for them. Can I be real and, 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 and above board? Somebody said, hallelujah. hallelujah. And I believe I can help you. I can help you. Somebody said, I can help you. I can help you. Yeah. And so therefore, we're in this uh, conundrum. We are in this griminess. Don't tell me words. Check your dictionary. Somebody said, mm. Oh, you said it more first. Somebody said, How <laughs> What happened is that we are there because of where the church is at. But I believe that God depends upon you. Yes, and we can do better. Somebody said, We can do better. We can do Come on, somebody said, We can do better. We can do better. And so Congress need help, Senate need help. Church needs help, but somebody got to stand and say, I will pray. Somebody say, hallelujah. What can the righteous do? Somebody say, I will pray. I can't hear somebody say, I will pray. I tell you, I tell you in verse 22, it says, speak thus, said the Lord, even the carcasses of men shall fall as dung upon the open fields. We have not got that yet, but that is in the word. Jeremiah 9, 22 is our newspaper of today. It says, God is saying, thus saith the Lord, even the carcasses, dead men, 
shall fall as dung upon the open field and as a, a hand full after the harvest men and none shall gather them he says it's like when you're gathering wheat there are some here there are some here scattered all, all over the place and so he said this is the, the deplorable condition that the world and our islands will be in if we do not pray. Somebody say hallelujah. Can you put your hands together and say I gotta pray. <laughs> And so in Luke 18, as I, as I quiet down, in, in Luke 18, what it says, Jesus' uh, um, response uh, to us was, and, and he spake a power unto this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. When he said men, it means women, boys, and girls. Can we put our hands together and say, I will pray. Isaiah 64, 1 and 2 says, Oh, that thou wouldest rend the heavens, that thou wouldest come down, that the mountains might flow down at thy presence. Can we pray so that God, that we can have a God movement here on the earth? Come on, somebody say, God, cause me to pray until there is a what? A God movement. When there's a God movement, like on the Isles of Lewis, men and women, we start coming into the house of God. Somebody say, Hallelujah. I believe God can do it again. In Matthew chapter 7 verse 7 it says, Ask and it shall be what? Given to you. Are you asking? Are you talking to God? Somebody say hallelujah. Daniel was a man. He said, I, I just walk and talk to God. And so therefore you can walk and have a prayer moment to with God. He says in Matthew chapter 7 verse 7, he said, Ask. So come on, everybody say ask. Everybody shout ask. And it shall be given to you. Seek, and you will find a knock on that door, and heaven's door will be open unto you. Somebody say hallelujah. Ask. Somebody say ask. Seek. And come on, put your hands and bang on that door. Lord God, want to hear everybody rattling at the door. Come on, somebody say bang on the door. Bang on the door. God wants to hear a rattling out of heaven's door. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. And then he says, if you don't be in the evil, know how to give good gifts to your children. Uh, like those two ladies, one blind and one arthritic. But they said something is about to stir. This pandemic, the church halfway missed it. I did not. I kept focused in prayer. I kept focused in preaching the gospel and in prayer. I did not miss it because I saw the pandemic and COVID-19 as the church's finest hour. Can you put your hands together? Somebody say hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together. When you believe it, I'll prophesy it. He said, if you then be evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who are going to ask? Unless I got to ask. And if you ask, he's going to give you good things. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. And he says that he is a rewarder, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe. Somebody say, I believe. Come on, somebody say, I must believe. I must awake and believe God. Somebody say hallelujah. I must believe God that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. Somebody say hallelujah. Can we all stand? Lord God, we pray today that as I release the word that you drop into my spirit that we are to pray in every private place, in every private space. Come on, somebody say private place. Private space. Somebody say hallelujah. Lord, I pray, Lord God, for a prayer revolution in America. A prayer revolution, Lord God, that will touch Congress, the halls of Congress again. I pray, God, for a prayer revolution that will touch the Senate again. I pray a prayer revolution that will touch the White House. Somebody say hallelujah. Don't leave all the prayer for me. Come on. Somebody say, I'm praying for a prayer in all the private places and all the private spaces. Somebody say, hallelujah. I pray, I pray in school. Let prayer open up again in schools, on our college campuses, on our universities campuses. Somebody say, hallelujah. Let prayer be open up again on our television, Christian television station and secular television stations and radio stations. Somebody say, hallelujah. Well, let uh, people leave their houses uh, and go to the parks uh, and abandoned places and begin to pray. Set up their uh, set up their tents. Uh, spend nights out in prayer. Somebody say we gotta pray. What can 
bring the righteous to the righteous. We can't throw in the towel, but we can pray. Somebody say hallelujah. What can the cunning woman do? What can the wailing woman do to teach the next generation how to pray and how to wail and how to pray and intercede? Somebody shout hallelujah. And so, Father, I pray for a prayer awakening. Somebody say hallelujah. In every private spot, every private place. In the name of Jesus. In our hospitals. In our homes. In our churches. Via Twitter. Via Zoom. Via Skype. Somebody say hallelujah. God, do it. Only you can do it. Somebody say, hmm. We saw you tipped us through in this pandemic. And people became faint. And people are throwing their towel. People can't catch themselves. My God. Somebody said, my God. But I still maintain the pandemic and the COVID-19. It was the finest time for the church. That was just the horsemen. Or what is it? Footmen, whatever. What are we going to do when the horse start riding by? Somebody said, mm. Somebody said, mm. Let's bring tongues. God, I believe this will this little response. Before you eat your right rice. Come on, let's come on. Shout out, come on. Bring the Holy Ghost. We got to gas and give away. We have cake. June is a, is a surprise month. You never know what else is surprise. We come to the door. But let's bring the Holy Ghost. Let's be prayer. Pray in English. I lift your hands and just, the young people, let's lift your hands and wave it. We don't know what to say. Had the enemy coming for our young people to take them up before their time. Going into the schools to kill them. Going into the universities to kill them upon their minds. Ah, can you pray? Pray, pray, pray. I want out the church some of you go and find the name out of some of those young girls and boys, Elisha, Elijah, over there. Write the name down and pray for them. Get one of them the girl, young girls' name. Pray for them. Some young person's name. Shela la la bakoto shande pray. Shela bakande la la bakoto shate kayan. Shela malanda la la bakosha. Mimbo re bakosha nda la ba. Shela bakate she bakanda la ba. Shela bakoto shande la 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 bakosha. Yela bakoto she mila la 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 bakosha nda la la la. Lord, we're praying in every private space. We're praying, praying in every public space. They're just bumping to us. We're praying in the spirit. The language of heaven on earth. Every people, they have their language, English, French. In the church, we got to pray language too. The language of the Holy Spirit. We have a, a supernatural language. I am like Moses. God, I wish everybody in this church would baptize with the Holy Ghost and prophesy and baptize the church with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Baptize all young people with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Then we give the revival with custom. Baptize our grandchildren. Baptize our children out of our home. Baptize them wherever they are. Trouble their heart, trouble their spirit, trouble their mind, trouble their thoughts. Shit about prayer, pray, pray, pray for somebody else's trial. Shit about that COVID them. Shakata Bato show me the church is in a lopsided condition. Shit about candle, the Bako show by Yanda. Shit about Yanda, the Bako show. Call your name that God revealed unto you. Shit about you, but you might see a picture of them. God of our God, just pray for them so they pass to this church. Shit about my mother, my coat of shroom. Yeah, I'm not calling him the spirit. Shit about you, you might not know the name, but you will see a vision. Shit about my mother, I've seen a vision of our young people who pass through. Shit about my coat of shroom, my mom. I don't know about Koto Shumba. Vision, vision. This is Iona's children. Visions. Shira Koto Shanda. Out of the columns. Visions. If I go back. Visions. Shira Bakanda. The pastor. They were the one who conditioned their souls. Shira Bakanda. Condition. I see my elder Barisha's son. Elder William's children. Come on, pray. So you have a good show and bum bum. We can pray unselfishly. Shout out for somebody else. That's why the church is in the dichotomy. It is in a mess that is in too much covetousness. Up in our prayer rooms. 
send us the wind, send us the wind that hit the first century church, send the global life church, the wind that hit the first century church, a wind that brought forth unity, shilaba yanda, what can we do with the spirit of unity, shilaba kandililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililil
Ask God for what you want you want to do. <laughs> Ask God. Okay. It's not crazy. Watch out.
multiply it 1,000 fold. Everybody who gave online and offline. In Jesus' name. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. Those online, you could also call in while we're here at church. And we have about an hour after the service. You can call 340 774 So I'll call in now. And also you can give online via PayPal at uh, Global Life at PayPal. PayPal.me backslash Global Life Church. PayPal.me backslash. And it's right there on your YouTube, Twitter handle, Facebook, LinkedIn, where all the millionaires are. Who knows what these days might get a billion dollars? Somebody say amen. amen. Y'all ain't so good. Somebody say amen. amen. All right. I'll tell you. Never know what God would do. Amen. Yeah. Go on with it again. Okay, the next number. All right. So right now we're giving out um, certificates for gas. Right person one, and this number is number 22. Who has number 22? Yes. I want some gas money because I was so angry and today this was so befitting 
that we got gas money, honey. Amen. God is good. Yes, the And I'm here saying, she might roll it over. And she come back and go, God, I want my money. And I want my gas money. So you got to come up here persistent. Amen. So we thank God for everybody who came. We have a good brother who came for the first time. Wave at us. In the blue. Blue and orange. Yeah. The brother in the blue and orange, good. Good to have you, man. Blessing. Yeah. We did it before. Adopts him up before. We won't be seeing the last time. You look like a preacher. You look like a young man who went to Sunday school. And you got God's word in your mouth. Amen? Amen. God has need of you. Amen? Don't be afraid. Amen? That's it. He said yes. Everything I tell him, he said yes. <laughs> All right. Glory be to God. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So God bless you. Remember, get the name of some of these young people. There's just one. Don't go to everybody. Let's get a name so we can pray for them. Amen? The next generation. According to the sermon that was preached. Amen? Amen. We are celebrating for our next generation. Amen? So God bless you. Um, we love seeing everybody. Um, there's some people who are away. Okay, you can see them. Let's pray for them. Amen? All I need is to pray as they take their summer rest and summer vacation. Amen? Let's put our hands out and let's close up. And so, Father, may the Lord bless you and keep you. And may the Lord cast his face to shine upon you, give you his grace, give you his peace. Pray for healing, restoration, and salvation in your life. Healing in your life. In Jesus' name. We love you. And we're going to see you again next Sunday. Be blessed. Amen. Okay, good. We still have stories.